Hey guys, I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And Apple has made it official. Today is the day iOS 14.4 has just been released for iPhones and iPads as well. iPad OS 14.4, TV OS 14.4 iOS 14.4 and watchOS 7.3 was released today with the brand new Unity watch faces, new ECG compatibility for other countries, as you can see right here. It also has the uh, time to walk feature, which is now available as well. Now, this one isn't available only for 7.3 for watchOS, but it is more of a server side update that you can uh, go ahead and enjoy that new feature for Fitness Plus subscribers, where you can learn more about an artist. And it's just a really cool feature if you have fitness plus you're going to definitely want to check it out but yeah apple today releasing a ton of software for iphone ipad uh, ios tv os i mean everything across the board as per usual in this video we're going to go over everything that's new as we always do and some of the bug fixes and concerns that i continue to have for older devices now one thing is first the bill number for today's software, iOS 14.4, is the same as the release candidate. And you may remember me talking about issues with battery on iPhone SE first gen, iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, 7, and 7 Plus, where the battery is just absolutely horrible. Uh, the same bill number applies today, so unfortunately, I don't see anything being addressed with this software in terms of battery for older devices that it's really really bad news there for uh, older device owners if you don't have that issue i would like to hear from you in the comments down below but yeah some of these older iphones have terrible battery life especially the older ones on 14.3 and 14.4 alike if you would like to check out that video links will be down below but let's go ahead and take a look at some of the latest new features for the newer iphones and everyone that supports ios 14 starting off with smaller qr codes now your iphone's camera is capable of reading and detecting smaller qr codes that is a new feature on 14.4 and you now also have the ability to classify your device by type or device, Bluetooth devices, I should say, by type. So if you're connected, let's say, to an external speaker and you click this little I here, you now have this new UI here or this new option that says device type. There you can identify if it's an external speaker, a hearing aid, car stereo, headphones, whatever. You can identify those devices. And the reason for that is because of the headphone safety notifications. That way Apple can deliver these properly. Uh, to most consumers as they identify their devices. Now there's a smaller improvement to the UI when you use the transfer to HomePod feature uh, for iPhone and HomePods as well. So there it is, just a small UI improvement on that UI to transfer to HomePod. And uh, your iPhone is now smarter with this new software as well. It can detect that the camera on your iPhone is actually a genuine part. So if you take your iPhone for repair, for example, and they swap out the camera, your iPhone is now capable of telling you with an actual notification if that camera is genuine, the one that replaced the older one. And that's obviously, obviously a good thing here as well. And that applies to all iPhones, by the way. Now, there's also been improvements to HDR on iPhone 12. And as we talked about, the Fitness Plus new features available here with Time to Walk. There's improvements to the keyboard. Many users have reported that the keyboard will simply freeze and not pop up properly in time or completely just be blank and disappear. 14.4 has definitely addressed that issue here. I haven't encountered that issue any longer on the release candidate, which I've been running it on this, these devices here uh, for a couple of days now, and everything seems to be working just fine. However, there's just a lot to talk about in regards to bugs. I know a lot of you guys continue to express issues with the cell connection. I know some of you guys uh, have reported the green tint display on iPhone 12. I haven't encountered that issue myself, but that has not been addressed with this software neither has the cell connection issues or at least we don't know if that's of yet you can expect my follow-up video of course where i'll test the battery thoroughly more within the network and i give you guys additional information so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for my follow-up video coming here in the next couple of days i'm going to be testing everything there's a lock screen bug where the camera would freeze i'm going to be testing that thoroughly of course the battery for older devices although there isn't any change in the bill number i'm hoping that apple has at least tweaked something uh, hopefully for those older iPhone owners. Uh, there's also text message notification issues constantly still being reported on 14.3 and 14.4 
alike. So there's a lot to take in here. Apple today released a, a bunch of improvements, new fixes, uh, but there also could be a surprise coming shortly. We'll have to wait and see. Apple could be releasing AirTags with 14.4. That could be supported right now. We just don't know of that of yet. Well, we'll have to wait and see. But that is everything. Of course, stay tuned for my follow-up video. Uh, some improvements, some new features, some bug fixes. Unfortunate news for older iPhones in terms of batteries I mentioned, but hopefully things will continue on a good trend and Apple will release new software updates here shortly to address specifically older iPhones in the battery department. There you guys have it. Thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.